Hello and welcome to this tutorial where I'll show you how to make a 3D character movement where you'll be able to walk as you see here you'll be able to with shift click to sneak so you will walk slower and you can jump and you'll be able to uh, in this case if you use the alt key then you'll be able to run faster so in null mode you will walk with the alt key you will run and with the left shift you will be able to sneak or move slower um, and in this tutorial we will I will show you how to do the movement and in uh, the next episode we will uh, go through the um, uh, to animate the character yeah let's get to it So, let's get to it. <coughs> so the first thing that we will need to do here is to make a 3D, uh, let's make a plane. Let's uh, bump it up to 555. Five. <coughs> this will be our ground. So if we name this one ground, we will also need to layer it as ground. You can see I already have it. If you do not have it, you can add layer. And then just put it uh, on number 9, say ground, then you uh, go back to the ground object here, and in the layer, choose ground. Then you will need to make our 3D object, and uh, for this tool I will just make a capsule, see it here, move it up a bit. Then we will need a rigid body. And for the rigid body, we will need to freeze the rotation in X, Y, and Z. If you do not freeze these rotations, then your character will tip around when you are moving him around. Yeah, let's get to the script. Then create C sharp script and call this movement. Uh, sorry, let's just do that, ignore that, open it up. And in here, we will need to first of all, let me get a big screen, we will need a private rigid body called RB. And to find it, we will need to say RB is equal to our get component rigid body like this then we will need uh, some floats so let's make a public fo float called our walk speed we will need a public float for our sneak speak speed sorry and then we'll need a public float for our run speed Uh, and then we need a public float for our rotate, rotate speed. <coughs> uh, sorry, we have to take these ones. Yeah. Then we can go down to the update. I will say no. We will make a new one called public void. Let's call it move. Uh, like this. <coughs> And here we will say if our input dot get key down. Oh, sorry, just get key. <clears throat> and here we will need the key code dot w. Then we will say <coughs> transform dot translate vector three dot forward <coughs> and here we need to multiply it with our uh, uh, walk speed times time dot delta time and this will make your character move forward and here we will do the same if you just copy this one paste it below 
And here we can do it for the S in this case. And then the only thing that we have to do here in front of vector 3, we have to say minus 1 times. <coughs> so now we have the possibility to go backwards as well. Then for rotating the player, we need to say if input dot get key get key and here we'll need the key code dot a we need to say transform dot rotate uh, rotate sorry and we need to say zero and here minus eight and here we can multiply it with our rotate speed times time dot delta time <coughs> Uh, we need uh, here times rotate speed. What did I type wrong here? Uh, minus a times rotate speed time time dot dot. Oh, we need like this, and we need to move that. Yeah. So and this we can copy paste it below and here we will move with the D and we can just say 8 so if you save this now and head back to unity take your player take the movement script on him and here right now we only have the walk speed so let's set that to 5 and our rotate speed, let's set it to 10. I think that is good. Now when we hit the play button. Uh, sorry, uh, my camera is off here. Let's set up the camera first. Uh, if we have the, the player, take the position to 0, 0, 0. The same with the ground, 0, 0, 0. I can see mine has been moved a bit. <coughs> like this. Then your main camera, make it a child of your player. Then move it up, move it a bit back. Over here you can rotate it, uh, sorry not that direction, like this. Let's make it 55. <coughs> and like this, you can see my values here in a moment. Let's do 18 minus 12, like this, and move him up a bit, like this. So now when we hit the play button, you should be able to, to move it. No, sorry for that. I, of course, forgot to call it in the update, like this. Move. So now when we hit the play button, we should be able to move him around. Yeah, we can move forwards, backwards, and we can turn him around, right and left. Just like this. Good. <clears throat> and, of course, here you can just bump this up or down if you want to rotate slower or faster. And the same with the, with the walk speed, of course. So, now let's get him to... Uh, what should we take first? We could make him sneak. Uh, yeah, let's make him sneak. And there we need to say, you can actually just copy this one, paste it on top of this one, and here we'll say if input the key, key code w, and our input dot get key uh, sorry get key key code dot um, let's use that, uh, that was the left shift uh, and uh, round it off like this then instead of the walk speed we will need the sneak speed and then here we will need to say else if like this 
And the same thing we have to do down here when we are moving backwards. So here we as well has to, you can copy this up here, paste it down here. Uh, and here we have to multiply it with the sneak speed, uh, sne sneak speed, sorry, sneak speed. And we have to say else if here as well. So if you save this, head back to Unity. <coughs> here you can see our walk speed will be five and the sneak speed, speed let's make it two. So if we hit play now, we can move around. And if you press shift down, you can see we are moving slower, so it should look like that we are maybe are sneaking in on somebody. And if you just uh, let the shift go, you will go to a normal speed again. Yes, now let's take the run speed. <coughs> and here we will have to, again, on top of this one, copy this one. And instead, here we will need to say, instead of left shift, let's take the left alt button. And here it will be the run speed. And then below here, we will need to say else if as well. Same thing we have to do down here. Let's copy paste this one. And here, let's use the left alt button. We need the runs, sorry, run speed. And we need to say the else if as well here. Let's see. Yeah, and we have to remove the if here, of course. So we say else and remove that one. Uh, sorry, what do I have? Forgot here, like this. <clears throat> And the same here, if, else, if, else we have to do like this. Why is it? What does it say here? Uh, we can key S, why is it? Ah, sorry, now we need the else, else if, sorry for that. Uh, that was my mistake. Of course, else if, now let's save it and hit back to unity <clears throat> i'm just getting a bit confused in all these uh, else ifs so here we can say the run speed may be uh, i don't know 20 that's that's a high number but so now we can walk if we hit the shift we will sneak both backwards and forwards and if we hit the alt button we will we will run so yeah now that is working now let's make our player jump. So to make him jump, we will need some more variables up here. And here we will first need a new float called our jump force. Then we will need a boolean called is grounded. Uh, let's say grounded. And then we'll need a new transform. And this will be our check ground. Uh, sorry, check ground. And then we'll need a new float called check radius. And we'll need a new layer mask. And this will be our layer is ground. And this is the one we did in the beginning where we grounded our layer, but we will get to that. Then down in our update, we will have to say this grounded is equal to physics dot check sapphire. I will show you in a moment what this is. And here we have to check ground dot position. Then we need our check radius. And then we need our layer mask. Ah, yeah, sorry, that is, of course, the layer is ground. What this will do is it will create a sapphire um, on the check ground position with the check radius that we have. 
and then it will check if it hits uh, that layer that is ground. And that is of course equal to we are grounded if this is true. And if we are grounded, if it is grounded, then we will be possible then it will be possible to do all this like this because if we are in the air we should not <coughs> do any of this if you want to do it in the air as well walk in air or something like this then you should just remove this if statement and then we can simply say here let's see inside the is grounded we can say if input dot get key and here we need the key code dot space in my case our rb dot velocity is equal to our vector 2 dot up times our jump force and here again <coughs> the if grounded is only uh, so we are not able to double jump so if you uh, as i said before want to walk uh, keep walking in the in the air or uh, turn left or right or something like this then take this if take all of this out of the if statement and only take the jump inside the if statement because then you can still move uh, right and left and uh, forward and backwards in air and then you will not be able to jump when you are in the air so let's save this and head back to Unity. <clears throat> and here we'll need to set up some things. We already set up the ground as layer on our player. We can see we've got some new things. We have the jump force. Let's set it to five. It's grounded. Uh, we don't have to do anything there. Then we need to check what is ground. So under your player, let's make an empty object and call this uh, uh, ground check this one you have to let's zoom in on the player here and put it in the bottom of your player at the feet and this is the spot and the radius that I was talking about before it will make a circle around here to check if it's hitting the ground I will show you some more here later so you should take the Caps now now you have to how big is the radius so if you put it on one and the layer is grounded that is of course our ground so if you hit play now we are able to run up should be able to run around but sorry what was the mistake ah sorry i forgot to take the ground check on here of course and then hit the play button so now we can run around and we can jump. So if you see here, let me do like this and not play on maximum. So if you see here, we can jump. If you want to double jump, you can make a check radius higher. So let's make it two. So if you jump, then if you see here, yeah, now I can double jump. And if let's make it five. You can see you could jump many times before you fall down again. So if you just place it to one, then it's just a simple one jump. And we can still walk, we can sneak, and we can run. And of course you can adjust these numbers so it fits your game. Yeah, that was, uh, sorry for the long video, but uh, that was what I had to show in, uh, in this tutorial. And uh, in the next uh, episode, I will cover um, to animate the player. So uh, hit the like and subscribe button and then you'll get a little notification when uh, I got the, the next video ready. Yeah, thank you.